Who was Thomas Sankara? And why does his legacy continue to reverberate through the annals of history, even 36 years after his untimely demise? Well, let's dive into the captivating chronicle of this revolutionary African leader, whose leadership span from 1983 to 1987 was marked by remarkable accomplishments. In a bold move, Sankara expelled French imperialism from Burkina Faso and severed ties with the International Monetary Fund, making the nation self-reliant. But his revolutionary spirit didn't stop there. He launched a massive vaccination campaign that shielded 2.5 million children from meningitis, yellow fever, and measles all within a few weeks. Education, too, was a priority. Sankara spearheaded a nationwide literacy campaign, which saw the literacy rate skyrocket from a mere 13% in 1983 to an impressive 73% by 1987. He was an environmentalist at heart, planting over 10 million trees to combat desertification and environmental degradation. Infrastructure was not neglected. Without foreign aid, roads were built, a railway was constructed connecting the nation. Sankara was a champion of gender equality. He appointed women to high governmental positions, encouraged their work, and even recruited them into the military. He also outlawed harmful practices like female genital mutilation, forced marriages, and polygamy becoming a beacon for women's rights. In a show of austerity, Sankara sold off the government fleet of luxury cars, replacing them with the Renault 5 as the official service car for ministers. He cut the salaries of public servants, including his own, and introduced austerity measures to curb excess. Land redistribution was another key initiative. He took land from feudal landlords and gave it to peasants, leading to increased wheat production and food self-sufficiency. Sankara was a vocal opponent of foreign aid, arguing it led to dependency. He spoke against neo-colonialism at forums like the Organization of African Unity and called for a united front to repudiate foreign debt. In Ouagadougou, the capital city, he converted the army's provisioning store into a state-owned supermarket, making it accessible to everyone. Sankara lived modestly, wearing a traditional tunic riding a motorcycle and shunning luxuries like air conditioning. When asked about his portrait, he famously said, there are seven million Thomas Sankara's. Thomas Sankara's transformative leadership was extraordinary. His legacy, a testament to his relentless pursuit of self-reliance, gender equality, and economic independence, continues to inspire people around the world. He proved that with conviction, courage, and a deep love for one's people, even the most monumental challenges can be overcome.